let's look at some interview questions now. Firstly, expand CATIA. The expansion of CATIA is computer-aided three-dimensional interactive application. Question number two. The, what is a safe extension of CATIA? In order to find what is a safe extension of CATIA, let's go to any of the file which is saved and go for the type here and you can see CATIA part. If you go for the properties, you can find it as CAD part. So that's the extension of CATIA part. Is it possible to change the size of the plane for the boundary representation? As you can see here, this is the size. And even if we add up any file here, and if we zoom in or zoom out, this plane, what you can see here, is the size is not going to change. So if you want to change it, yes, you can change it. Go for Tools, Options. Go for Infrastructure, Part Infrastructure. Go for Display. And here you could change. If you go here and see, you can see that the size of the plane is big. So this is pretty good to keep the size of the plane a little bigger because sometimes you need to select and when you have other objects here it's a little difficult for you to select the plane so it's sometimes it's a little risky to keep the plane big if you don't want to select the plane uh, very frequently now let's go to the next question what is the difference between you and you from in the new file if, if you go here go to new go for a new part you can see that a new part file is open there is no file which already exists. Now if you go for a new from file, if I select a uh, already existing file, you can see that the name of the file is light bulb jack. And if I open it, you can see that the file is here. Now if I just make some changes on this, if I go for save, that file is not gonna get saved over it. You're going to be asked to save that file in a new new location so the file which you have here will be saved so new from file helps you to continue or to make a revision on this and save it in a uh, different file so let's see the last question that is is it possible to enter sketcher workbench automatically so the answer is no. You cannot directly enter into a sketcher workbench. As you can see here, if you close this, if I close this as well, all of this, and if I try to go in, if I go for new, I don't have an option called as sketcher. And if I go here, even if I have an option here as sketcher, it directly open a, opens a part file or a wireframe and surface design workbench. In this, you need to. You can see that this tool is already open, and then you need to specify a plane, and then do the sketcher options. So that's about the quick interview questions, the first session. I hope you enjoyed. Let's see what comes next. Thank you.